But I want to give you a tip and a trick. So for us here at the farm and at the home, well, homestead, I use food bins for all of my food. Now, the best bin to have so that critters can't get in, in and at your food is that. We use the trash cans, the metal trash cans. I tighten them up, make sure that they are all tightened, and I use the five gallon bins. Now, when the five gallon bins get trashed like this, I'll show you what happens. They break apart like this. These bins break apart like this. I get new bins, so we'll, we'll be getting some new bins for our feed. I usually don't have the feed on the ground. I have to put feed in the bucket. For each stall, if I'm not here, I have it written on the stall what they get. Or on the top of the bins. What they get if I happen to not be here or something happens. Everybody knows what to give who, what goes to who, and what to do, okay? So just a little tip and trick. That's to keep the critters out and to keep it a little bit more nicer in the barn for us, for our grain area. I do not get, we get 100 pound of grain. Uh, I will be doing a process for our grain and how much it actually is per year with grain to feed our animals and hay to feed our animals and a breakdown. That's coming soon. So stay tuned for that. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit that little bell. Just a little FYI from Go Go Mama uh, on your feed bins. If you do not or are starting to a farm, feed bins or old bins are great to have for your feed. So nothing gets in your feed. It's all safe, it's sanitary for your goats and for your farm animals, okay? Uh, you guys have a great day. This is Go Go Mama. Toodles from the barn.